Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called your first PHP web page. And in this lecture, we're going to be doing just that, starting your very first PHP web page. But before we jump right in, we need to do a couple things in order to make sure we are ready. So by this point, uh, you should have downloaded and installed a virtual server. So either MAMP for Windows or Mac or AMPS or whatever other virtual server you decided to go with. Go ahead and open up your virtual server. In my case, I will be using MAMP for the Mac. If you're using the same, then this should be a breeze for you. Hopefully for the other servers, it's the same. So you'll see a screen that looks like this, a little box, and it gives you a couple options. You'll see things like status, Apache server, MySQL server, a couple red lights, meaning nothing has started yet. A couple options here, but what we're gonna wanna do is click on preferences because what we want to do is change Apache, the document root of Apache so that we can uh, direct that to our course files because our course files is an actual website. Even though it's a bunch of folders with PHP pages and everything for your reference, it's actually a website as well so that you can uh, start it up and look at the each of the individual documents as we're going through the course. So click Apache and then select. And we want to select our Code Dynamic Websites folder, the course files that you downloaded. And then click Open. And then that should be your document root. So we want the Code Dynamic Websites folder to, to be the actual document root. Hit OK. And then Start Servers. And this should fire up Apache and MySQL. At this point, you should be able to open up your browser of choice. In my case, I am using Google Chrome. And if you type in your address bar, localhost, port 8888, when I say port, I mean the colon. That's, that's web speak or programmer speak for, for this. So localhost, port 8888 then hit enter or return and you should be at the index or the document root of your course files. Now hopefully for you if you're using a PC or a different type of machine your port is the same. You can check here in your map settings under ports. Make sure your Apache port is 8888. Hit OK and you should be good to go. Localhost port 8888. And now here is the index of your course files. You can see everything in a folder or in their separate folders. So the first thing we want to do is the first page. If you click on first page, you'll be taken to a page that just says, hello world. Now, I know it's not very pretty or anything, but this is actually a PHP page and we're using PHP to print this text on your browser window. Now I want to show you how to do that. Open up your code editor of choice. I am using Coda2. And then open your Code Dynamic Websites course files in your code editor. Choose first page and click on index. That should open it. And you should see a very simple little PHP page. It has HTML. You'll be familiar with this because you should probably know a little bit of HTML and it has all the basic HTML structure for a simple HTML page. We have a title, but there's something here in the body that's quite curious, and that is PHP, my friends. You're gonna be very accustomed to this syntax by the end of this course, so if it looks a little scary right now, by the end of it, it will actually look quite simple and pleasant. At least for me, it's pleasant. I quite like this. Anyway, so let me explain this just a little bit. To code PHP, you need to have, first of all, the file extension needs to be .php in order for your web browser to render it as a PHP page. Of course, you'll need a server to run it, and that's why we're using MAMP. So in my PHP page, I can use just HTML, but I can also use the PHP tag. And in order to write PHP, you need to have your opening PHP tag, which is the opening bracket, question mark PHP, and then 
to close it, you use the question mark and a closing bracket. In between there is where you code your PHP. In this case, we're using the print function. And print just spits out text or whatever you want in between these brackets and strings. So we're just printing hello world. And now if you were to view that back in your browser, you can see hello world. And your source code should just look like this. HTML head title body hello world. Very, very simple. So if you want to try this, I have provided in the first page folder something called practice.php. Go ahead and click that. Basically, it's the same thing minus the PHP code. So if you want to try your hand at your very first line of PHP, go ahead and remove the HTML flag here, the comment, and code your first bit of PHP. So start off like this, opening PHP tag. Make sure to close it. In between here, let's do the print function. And then you have the parentheses. And then make sure to close that function with a or end it with a semicolon. In between here, let's add a couple strings. And basically, you could just type whatever you want. Save that. Now go back to your browser, localhost port 8888, but change at the end of 01 first page, change that to practice.php, and you should go to your practice page. There it is, hello world. Just to make sure that it works, maybe let's change this. Hello friends, refresh. There it is. So that is your first PHP practice page. Let's do a quick little review just so you're not lost at this point. Remember to fire up your virtual server. In our case, or my case, it is MAMP. Under preferences and Apache, select your document root and make sure it is your course files. Also make sure that your ports are set to 8888 for the Apache port. In your code editor, open up your course files, codynamic, codynamic websites under 01 first page. This is our very first lecture here. And you want to open index. You can view, your, view the code there. In your browser, localhost port 8888 should look like this. Click on first page, it'll open the index. Once you've coded your practice page, you can just navigate to practice.php, and there is your code. Bam, first lecture. All right, good job, guys. I'll see you in the next lecture where we're going to start to learn a little bit more about PHP syntax. All right, see you there.